Today we're getting into the world of robotics with a groundbreaking innovation from a Shenzhen-based tech startup called Stardust Intelligence. They've just unleashed their latest creation onto the scene, the Astrobot S1. And just like we expected, this AI robot is causing quite a stir in the industry. So what's all the hype about? Well, Stardust Intelligence claims that the Astrobot S1 is a game changer when it comes to artificial intelligence. They're saying it's basically the perfect blend of cutting-edge tech and human-like proficiency. And from what we've seen in the promotional video, it's hard to argue with that. I mean, just take a look at what this robot can do. It can fold clothes with precision, sorting items like a pro, and even whip up sandwiches on a frying pan. And get this, it's doing it all at maximum speed and accuracy, mimicking human performance like never before. Now you might be wondering how they pulled this off. Well. Stardust Intelligence is keeping their cards close to their chest when it comes to the technical details. But according to news reports, the Astrobot S1 is rocking a hybrid design. It is a wheeled base combined with a humanoid upper body. This setup gives the robot the flexibility it needs to tackle a variety of tasks, whether it's research in the lab or real-world scenarios out in the field. But here's the thing, Stardust Intelligence isn't just stopping at impressive demos. They're aiming to commercialize the Astrobot S1, meaning we could soon see these robots in action in our daily lives. And that's got me thinking. Imagine having a robot assistant at home, helping with chores, cooking meals, maybe even keeping you company. As the Astrobot S1 takes center stage, you can't help but be drawn in by its sleek design and futuristic aesthetic. And you can't help but wonder, what is this robot capable of? So let's break down what we just witnessed in that mind-blowing demo. What makes it so jaw-dropping? Well, for starters, we're looking at something that's lightning fast, incredibly smooth, and entirely autonomous. Yep, you heard that right. No human intervention here at all. Now, if you're not familiar with the term teleoperation, let me break it down for you. It's when there's a human behind the scenes controlling the robot using tech like VR headsets. But not with the Astrobot S1. The Astrobot S1 is doing its thing all on its own, no strings attached. It's so good that it played a cup stacking game in a matter of seconds. If you've ever tried it yourself, you know it's no walk in the park. But this AI stacked those cups as fast as humanly possible. It's a move that requires finesse and skill, something you might not expect from a machine. Asides the automation, let's not forget about the integration of large language models. Now, this is where things get really interesting. Imagine a robot that not only moves with grace and speed, but also understands complex commands and responds in real time. That's how amazing this AI is. Even for someone who's knee-deep in AI and robotics, this demo is almost too good to be true. Just the speed and precision of those movements is like watching something out of a sci-fi flick. The Astrobot S1 large language model integration is so amazing that when the user FKS asks the AI system, what do you see? It spits out a detailed list of everything in its line of sight. From an orange ping pong ball to a red RC car toy and everything in between. Now, we're not sure which specific large language model they're using, but with the rapid advancements we've seen lately, the possibilities are endless. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. This robot isn't just seeing things, it's also making sense of them. For example, when it's asked how to tidy up the mess on the table, instead of just spitting out a random response, it suggests using separate containers for toys and writing utensils. Now, that might seem like a no-brainer humans, but for a robot to understand the concept of organization and apply it in real time, I found it really impressive. Now on its vision system, it looks like they're using something similar to the YOLO vision system, which is known for its ability to identify a wide range of objects with precision. And judging by how effortlessly the robot identifies multiple items, it's safe to say this vision system is top-notch. But here's the thing. All of this is happening thanks to imitation learning. That means the robot is learning by observing and mimicking human behavior. Now, we're not sure how many examples they've fed into the system, but judging by the robot's speed and accuracy, it's safe to say it's had its fair share of practice runs. This robot is different because it doesn't need five fingers like humans to work well. It only has two, showing that sometimes simple is better than complicated. Even though some people might say its demonstrations are only impressive because they're done in a controlled way, just watch it toss a paper plane into a bin. 
That's not an easy task, especially when it's also doing other tricky and amazing things. Even cutting vegetables becomes impressive when this robot does it with such accuracy. But there's a real question. Can this robot move around on its own? We can see its arms and eyes, but can it walk? That's important for real life jobs. It turns out this robot can move by itself, which is a big deal. It's not like another robot called Reflex, which needs a person to control it. The Astrobot robot in this demo can do its thing all on its own, and this is really impressive. Now let's think about what this robot could mean for different jobs. It's really fast and smooth in its movements, so it could change things in industries like inventions and healthcare. Just imagine these robots teaming up with humans in factories, doing careful work quickly and accurately. Or imagine them helping out surgeons in hospitals, making surgeries more precise and helping patients recover better. There's a lot this robot could do to make the world better. But perhaps the most exciting aspect of this demo is what it represents for the future of robotics. We're witnessing the dawn of a new era where robots are not just tools, but intelligent autonomous entities capable of understanding and interacting with their environment in meaningful ways. And with advancements in AI and robotics happening at breakneck speed, who knows what incredible feats these robots will accomplish next. What really got me was that it wasn't just one or two tasks. It was a whole bunch of them, and they were all pretty complex. I'm talking about things that even some humans might struggle with. Now, there are a couple of things I'm really looking forward to seeing from this robot in the future. However, I'm curious about how it's going to interact with humans. Right now, it seems like it's mainly responding to typed commands, but imagine if it could actually talk back to us. Like, if it could use language models to have conversations with us and understand verbal commands. That would take its usability to a whole new level, don't you think? And then there's the whole moving around in the environment thing. See, robots can be pretty good at doing tasks when everything's set up just right, but put them in a different environment and it's a whole different story. They can struggle to identify objects and figure out where to put them. So it would be really cool to see this robot cruising around, adapting to different situations like a pro. Now, I'm not trying to nitpick here. I'm seriously impressed by what this robot can do. But I think there's always room for improvement, you know? And hey, I get it, some people might be skeptical. With all the hype around robotics these days, it's easy to wonder if maybe it's all smoke and mirrors. But when you see something like this and it's clearly not being controlled by a human behind the scenes, you've got to give credit where credit's due. So yeah, from what I've seen here, it looks like this lab might just be leading the pack when it comes to robotics. Next, let's talk about the competition in the world of robotics because it's heating up like never before. Sure, we've seen some pretty impressive stuff from Boston Dynamics, especially with their latest robot showcasing some mind-blowing moves. But here's the thing, China is stepping up their game big time, and they're not messing around. This new demo we just witnessed, it's proof. So in summary, this Astrobot S1, it's a game changer. The speed, the precision, the sheer variety of tasks it can handle, unbelievable. And it's not just doing simple stuff. We're talking about stacking cups, tossing paper planes into bins, and even slicing veggies like a pro chef. But remember, this robot isn't just following pre-programmed routines. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this too good to be true? Well, yeah, there's always that possibility. But let's give credit where it's due. The breakthroughs we're seeing here are pretty impressive. And with this robot expected to hit the market in 2024, we might just be on the brink of a robotics revolution. But perhaps the most exciting part of all is the fact that this breakthrough is coming out of China. China is leading the charge in AI and robotics, showing the world what's possible when innovation meets determination. So, whether you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who appreciates a good robot, the Astrobotus One is definitely worth keeping an eye on. Who knows what incredible feats it'll accomplish next? One thing's for sure, the future is now, and it's looking brighter than ever. Of course, there are still plenty of questions to be answered. How will the Astrobot S1 handle different environments? What about communication with humans? And let's not forget about the inevitable challenges and setbacks that come with any groundbreaking technology. But despite the uncertainties, no one can deny that Stardust Intelligence has raised the bar for humanoid robotics. And with the Astrobot S1 leading the charge, it's safe to say we're in for some exciting times ahead. But hey, 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's still a lot we don't know, like how this robot will handle real world environments or if it'll be able to communicate with humans using language models. And let's not forget about the potential delays that often come with these kinds of projects. But based on what we've seen so far, I'd say this company is definitely ahead of the curve. So what's next for humanoid robotics? Well, if this demo is any indication, we're in for some exciting times ahead. We've come to the end of this video, and if you enjoyed it, do well to click on the like and subscribe buttons. And as always, I want to hear from you. What do you think about all of this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be sure to respond. Until next time.